Welcome back, everyone. Thanks for watching tonight. In celebration of Black celebration History of Black Month History and beyond, WTRG there's a New special exhibit at the Mobile Museum of Art that takes people back to the civil rights era through photographs, but not just any photographs and not by just any photographer. Bill Riles explains. From now until the end of the year, here at the Mobile Museum of Art, you can see an exhibit by writer and director and world-class photographer Gordon Parks. It's called Segregation Story in Mobile, 1956. Um, Gordon Parks is an internationally renowned photographer. Um, he is originally from Fort Scott, Kansas, and he worked, um, when he was creating these photographs, he worked for Life magazine. Um, and he worked there for several years, and he was also a fashion photographer, and he directed Shaft. Parks was the originator of so-called black exploitation films like Shaft, but these photos are the real deal of life in and around Mobile during the civil rights era. They document the day-to-day -day living of the Thornton family during segregation. An iconic sign captured in one of his images taken at the Mobile Sanger Theater is also on display. I think as an art museum, um, we are always trying to bring art and artists that are not only great, but uh, exploring themes that are relevant to this community. And I think uh, this Gordon Parks exhibition just kind of checks all those boxes. All of the 20 photos were originally published as a photo essay by Parks in Life magazine in 1956. They will remain on display until the end of the year. In Mobile, Bill Riles, WKRG News 5.